What's up, it's Chris Herrio. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna to be showing you 10 of the best exercises that you can do to build solid muscle. Now the 10 exercises I have for you today were specifically chosen with muscle building in mind and not necessarily building athletic ability, skills, or strength, although these exercises definitely do that as well. And of course, diet and progressional training play a huge role in muscle building, but aside from that, this list, in my opinion, focuses on the absolute best top 10 exercises that will build the most muscle and give you the most bang for your buck. Now the best exercises for building muscle are going to be compound exercises because they recruit multiple muscle groups at once, allowing you to lift heavier and also tear more muscle fibers than a single muscle. And today I'll be showing you 10 exercises that do that the best. And this list could not be complete without hitting every major muscle group in our body. So I chose the best exercises that you can do for every given muscle. And if you follow along and do every exercise on this list, not only are you going to be building muscle, but you're going to be getting a full body workout. So if you're ready to get started and to follow along with the list and try them all yourself, make sure you've downloaded the Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store open up to the YouTube workout section. You should find this video and the routine, smash the like button, and we're ready to go. Starting with the first exercise on our list, the muscle up. One of the main exercises used to build muscle and upper body strength in gymnastics and body weight training. The muscle up not only builds your back and your biceps, but your chest and your triceps as well. And one of the very few exercises that engage all three heads of your shoulders. All right, there we have the muscle up. Definitely deserves to be on the top 10 list. When you're doing the first half of this exercise and pulling, you're engaging your rhomboids, rear delts, lats, biceps, traps, and even your core. And as you make the transition from pulling to pushing, you start to engage your medial and frontal delts along with your triceps, your chest, while still engaging your core the entire time, making this a total upper body exercise. This exercise builds strength and muscle really fast, especially when you start increasing your repetitions. If you don't know how to do it, you can check out a bunch of my videos where I teach you how to do it step by step. And to benefit the most from the muscle ups and all the exercises on this list, you want to make sure that you're using different grips and hand positions. Using different grips and hand positions are going to get you better at the movement and strengthening the correlating muscle groups even more, increasing your repetitions way faster. And the more repetitions that you can do, the more muscle you can potentially grow. Now moving on to number two, in no specific order, we have the bench press. This is an exercise also used in other sports, not only to build muscle, but also strength and power. Bodybuilding and powerlifting to American football, even martial arts all utilize the bench press. And it's been an exercise that's been tried and proven over many years to build solid muscle. All right, if you wanna easily create an overload onto your chest and triceps, the bench press is gonna be your best bet as you can load up the bar as heavy as needed to easily reach hypertrophy. And to get the most out of your bench press, you wanna be using different grips, but you also wanna be using different inclines as well. And it's not only gonna help you engage different areas of your chest, but your frontal delts as well, creating an overall stronger push. Moving on to number three, we have deadlifts. To get the most out of your deadlifts and to make sure you're seeing the most results, you wanna make sure that you're using different grips as well as different positions in your legs as well. Try doing deadlifts, placing your feet in a wide stance, shoulder width stance, and a narrow stance. All right, and there we have the deadlift, another exercise that's been tried and proven by many athletes and utilized by many sports around the world, not just to build muscle, but also to develop strength and power, making it a lot more effective and easier to build muscle in your lats, hamstrings, glutes, traps, and quads all at the same time. Using the biggest muscles in your body with every rep to execute this exercise, meaning more weight is able to be lifted, tearing more muscle fibers and building more muscle, and which is why the heaviest lifts ever done were deadlifts. Next up, pull-ups. Now the pull-up, in my opinion, is the best exercise that you can do to build a big and powerful back, engaging your rhomboids, rear delts, lats, biceps, and even your core. All right, there's many variations to the pull-up that will allow for a total back workout, and you can even add weight to your body with a weight vest or belt to further increase the overload, and it's another exercise used by professional athletes all around the world. You can use different pull-up variations from the absolute start of your fitness journey, starting off with Australian pull-ups that absolutely anybody can do. You start off with an angle that can challenge you, and then you start building strength from there, and if you can't do a pull-up yet, and you wanna learn your first one, you should definitely check out my video. How to do your first pull-up and increase your repetitions, and if you're having trouble increasing your pull-up reps, definitely check out that video, it's the same method that I used. And with the many different variations, you're gonna to continue to use pull-ups to build muscle and strength throughout your entire fitness fitness journey, the variations always get harder, allowing you to increase more of an overload, like the one-arm pull-ups, to ensure that you continue to build muscle. Now moving on to number five, we have handstand push-ups. And to get the best out of your handstand, you want to use the different grips. Try wide, shoulder width, and close. Eventually try having one on an elevated surface. You can even try your handstand push-ups against the wall, facing the wall if you have to. 
All right, the handstand push-up, definitely the best exercise for building muscle in your shoulders, as well as functional strength. And it's another exercise that can be scaled down and done by all levels. Like with the beginner progression that absolutely anybody can start getting into, pike push-ups, the intermediate version, elevated pike push-ups. If you'd like to learn how to handstand push-up, definitely check out my video where I teach you how to handstand push-up in five easy steps. It definitely works. Read the comments from that video. You're gonna read about people that have learned how to do it just from watching the video. The different progressions of the handstand push-up can also be used to create a progressional overload to help you reach hypertrophy. And because this exercise requires a lot more balance, we're recruiting a lot more stabilizing muscles, tearing a lot more muscle fibers, and even engaging a lot more muscles as well, like our core. Now moving on to number six, we have clean and press. Now, of course, to get the most out of the clean and press, you wanna start off with a weight that you can handle and then master that. Once you develop more strength, try increasing your repetitions and try doing some reps explosive and some other reps more controlled. All right, there we have clean and press, a total body exercise, working your upper body all the way down to your lower body. From your shoulders, traps, triceps, back, abs, glutes, quads, calves, hamstrings, and even your core. And with so many muscle groups recruited, as well as it being an explosive exercise, this is gonna build a lot of muscle, power, and strength. Now moving on to number seven, we have the push-up. This is an exercise that you can use to start your fitness journey and still use to consistently make gains all the way to the end. All right, now the push-up definitely needs to be on this list with so many variations that can be done anywhere and utilized by a complete beginner with the very first progression, elevated push-ups or knee push-ups, all the way to harder progressions like the burpee, explosive push-ups, and full planche push-ups, giving you so many exercises and opportunities for progressional training without ever having to lift a weight, while still creating a progressional overload and building a lot of muscle in our chest, shoulders, core, and triceps. And a lot of the push-up variations that I've shown on this channel are a lot harder than the exercises that you're doing in the gym. And if you want to see some of those push-up variations that you should be incorporating, check out my video, push-ups level 1 through 10. Next up, the bent over row, which is another upper and lower body muscle builder, recruiting muscles from your back like your rhomboids, lats, rear delts, your biceps, your core, hamstrings, and calves. This exercise also reinforces strong hip hinge mechanics. All right, there we have the bent over row, which is wanna make sure that you're using different grips. Try a supinated grip as well as different hand positions. This is gonna allow you to increase your overall pulling strength by strengthening and emphasizing different areas of your back and even different areas of your bicep. Now moving on to number nine, we have squats. Now to get the most out of the squats and to see the most benefits, just like all the other exercises, you wanna try using different grips like the front squat, different positions in your feet, as well as going at least 90 degrees or below on your squat. And you can also try using different reps as well. You can try doing explosive negative reps. You can try high repetitions, five reps of five sets, going up or down a pyramid, using drop sets, or even try doing it without weight. Always switch up your training and how you're doing your exercises and you're gonna see some real results. All right, there we have the squat, another one of those exercises where you can load up the bar as heavy as needed to easily reach muscular hypertrophy, but mainly for our lower body. The squat, along with the bench press and the deadlift, are considered the holy trinity for building muscle and strength. And if you're lifting weights and trying to build strength and muscle, you definitely want to be focusing on these three lifts. And the squat is one of the most functional exercises you can do, and like the deadlift, you're using the biggest muscles in your body, your glutes, to really execute this exercise, as well as engaging a lot of other muscles as well, like your traps and your core. Moving on to number 10, we have dips. Now to benefit the most out of dips and to see the most results, you want to be using the different grips. Try wide, shoulder, and closed if you're doing them on a straight bar, and definitely start doing them on a pair of rings. Adding this balance factor is going to have you recruit a lot more stabilizing muscles, getting you way more shredded and way stronger. All right, and last but not least, we have the dips. Another great exercise that builds insane strength and muscle mass in your chest, shoulders, and triceps. The dip has many variations to target different muscles and can be made more difficult by adding weight with the weight vest or belt. Further create an overload onto your muscles and to build even more muscle mass. And if you're a beginner, you can always do a variation of the dips like the bench dips. And even if you're not a beginner, you can still use the beginner progressions to create a progressional overload by starting with the easier variations and working up to the harder variations or creating a drop set by starting with the hardest variations and working your way down to the easiest variations, which use the least amount of body weight. Using rings was definitely a game changer for me. It had me building way more muscle. I got way more shredded and way stronger 
a lot faster. You're definitely gonna see a difference in muscle development and your physique, but you're also gonna see a major difference in your strength as well. It's gonna be way easier to do dips, even with weight on bars or anything else after you've been training them on rings. If you need a pair, you can always pick some up at thenx.com slash shop. All right, so there you have the 10 best exercises that you can do to build muscle right now. If you do this workout in the Harry Pro app and you focus on all 10 of these exercises, you're gonna be building muscle throughout your entire body. And you're also gonna be setting yourself up to developing real strength and a solid foundation, not just looking strong, actually being strong. Some of these exercises people may neglect because they're hard, but they're hard for a reason. That's because they work. So master these exercises and eventually these hard exercises are gonna feel normal to you and you're gonna start seeing some real results as well as have an edge over all other athletes. So if you enjoyed this video, then definitely smash that like button. It really helps YouTube recommend our videos to more people and to show our appreciation. If you comment down below, you always have a chance to win some Harry apparel. So make sure you subscribe right now with the notifications on so you never miss a video. I post every Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time so you always have a chance and don't forget to get this workout on your phone as well as all my personal workouts and workout programs that I've created with specific goals in mind like building solid muscle while simultaneously getting shredded with minimal to no equipment then make sure you download my Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store and make sure to check out the brand new Harry collection at chrisharry.com a lot of the pieces you've seen in previous videos like the white track pants black track pants workout shorts cotton shorts windbreaker jackets and stay tuned for our summer collection coming in just a couple weeks we also just restocked on all of our weight vests Check it all out at chrisaria.com and I'll see you next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.